This is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and today we're gonna make some rosemary smoked oil. Now here's the thing. Did you ever wanna add a smoked flavor to your food without smoking it? Well, the simple solution is to use smoked ingredients. These things can include things like cheese or nuts or salt or oils. I like to use a rosemary oil to go with my chicken and my fish. Also, a garlic oil with smoke is also another really nice addition to a bit of salmon or something like that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a tray and I like to line my tray with foil. And you see here that I made a foil liner that's just a little bit larger than the tray. And the reason is, is because sometimes it's really hard to get these really, really clean, even when you run them through the dishwasher. So I like to do it this direction and, and be safe. You do wanna make sure that you overlap completely at least one corner, and that's where we're gonna pour out the oil. So I wanted to point that out, because you see this side is not overlapped, but this side is. Now I'm gonna set this in here, right in the middle, directly underneath a grill mat on the top shelf. This is my rosemary, and I'm gonna set my rosemary in on the grill mat. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we want to keep most of it over the tray and on the grill mat so that way it'll stay right where it's at. I bought a reasonably priced extra virgin olive oil. This bottle is only 16 ounces. I don't like to make uh, too much more than that at a time. And then I don't like to have more than two or three flavors at a time. So that way I just kind of focus on that. And then once I get through it, I can smoke another flavor. This is so easy to do that you can really just do it any time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open this bottle. And I like to have the tray in there before I pour it because it's kind of easy to spill. And if you get this oil everywhere, it's a big, huge mess. Make sure you save this bottle. And before I started the camera, I went ahead and started this tray of pellets. Now, I only put about three hours worth of pellets in here. I don't wanna go very long. I, I just don't need to. I just need to get a nice mellow flavor in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and to keep any extra ash from falling into the smoker, I'm gonna set it right on there and slide it in. Push it back and then pull it forward so it's kind of in the middle and then I'm gonna set this with this foil right here to kind of reduce the amount of uh, wind that can blow in there. And the foil will just kind of touch the thing without sealing it well. And we have this nice big gap here. So we're gonna wait just one minute here until we see the smoke flowing well. And you can see it's coming right through there almost instantly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid because I can see it coming on both sides. We don't need any heat for this. We just want the smoke to get all over the surfaces of the oil and of the rosemary. And then once that's done, we'll be able to put it in a jar and let it rest. So let's check here for some smoke coming out. I have the vent on the Oklahoma Joe Tahoma open completely so it should flow pretty freely. Current temperature outside is right around 50 degrees and that's the temperature that we have in there. Now it will go up a degree or two just because the smoke is warm, but it's not gonna make a big difference on a day as chilly as it is today. This is something that you could do at just about any outdoor temperature. You don't have to worry about it like you would with a cheese or uh, butter or something like that. You can see here that it's flowing good, and we're just gonna let it go. That'll be two hours for me and one second for you. We are back and it's been almost two hours and I think everything looks ready to go. So the internal temperature is only 55 degrees, so nice and cool. So let's go ahead now and let's pull out the pellet tray so we can stop the smoke. And look at that, 
The pellets are almost completely consumed. Pretty good timing there. I'll set this aside. Now when I go to open this, it's still going to be completely full of smoke. So here we go. And poof, just like that. Smoke everywhere. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a cookie sheet and let's take that rosemary out on there. Now this is a lot of rosemary. We're going to go ahead and, and process it anyway. So I'm just going to show you this one and then we'll take a little break and I'll do them. So take the stalk of rosemary and then I'm just going to pull it off like that. Sock comes out clean like that, and we're done with it. Let me go ahead and do all this, and I'll be back. So I processed all this rosemary, and uh, I'm going to say that that's probably just a little bit more than what we need. So I might take and put half of it in a Ziploc baggie and throw it in the cabinet for now. And then we'll see if we can use it for something else, like maybe we'll put it directly on some chicken. I brought the table over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to load half of this right in here. Just like that, halfway full. This is a standard canning jar, a ball wide mouth, and it's got a line for 24 ounces, so I think it holds about 28 total. If you remember, we have 16 ounces of oil, so we need to be able to get all of that in here with this rosemary. Now this is the part where you want to be really careful. And then I'm going to put this jar over this pan just in case I spill. And then we're going to go here. And I'm going to flare up that corner just a little bit. And then I'm going to pour right in that jar. And it should be just a little more than half full. And I want to point out, I don't know if you can see this with the camera, but the oil has taken a little bit more color from the smoke. It's going to be subtle, so you're not going to be, it's not going to be strong like something you might get with a really heavily smoked salt or something like that. Now you can let this sit here as long as you want. I'm probably going to just call that good. So there's a little bit more in there that I might try to get out. Let's try moving over here a little bit and see if I can dump a little bit more out. Yeah, it just looks like it's going to be a mess, so let's just go ahead and fold that up on the corners. And then, no fuss, no muss, boom, done. And I can just throw that foil in the garbage and I don't have to deal with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on here, get it really tight, give us a good shake. And now I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna shake that every day for a week. A week later, we are back and this is what we got. Now, if you can see this, you can tell that it's just a little bit darker than it was when we put it in there. So it's basically like steeping tea, but rosemary. So I'm gonna reuse the same bottle, however, a decorative glass bottle would work really well for this and you can pick those up at a lot of stores and I'll try to find one on Amazon and drop it in the link below. So what we're going to do is we're going to sift some of this rosemary out. We want a few pieces in there, but we don't want it all in there. I have a funnel that will fit conveniently inside the bottle and then I have a small strainer. I have a large amount of the rosemary out of there. 
I'm going to discard this. I'll be right back. All right, let's go again. Get rid of a little bit more of it. I think that's going to be good for us, and we'll pour the rest in. And when you get to the end, you want to keep an eye on the level of the bottle because if you get a lot of rosemary in, you will end up increasing the volume. But you should actually lose a little bit of volume with this because you've got oil sticking to the inside of all the different surfaces of everything that you've prepared. Let's go ahead and dump a little bit more out in there. Now I might strain this a little bit more, but for right this minute, I'm just gonna set this aside. Set this aside here. Now everything is contained inside the bottle and I'm just gonna put my finger in there and give it a little taste. Now I taste the rosemary, very subtle, and a little bit of the smoke, very subtle. But also you have the cleanness of the olive oil. This is gonna be great. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this with a little bit of onion and dill on a salmon that I'm gonna cook in an upcoming video. So that'll wrap it up for your infused oil. And remember, there's a lot of ways that you can add smoked flavor to your food and check out the article below to see a list of some on my website. So if you saw anything you like in the video, there will be affiliate links in the description. I will get compensated if you use those links, so I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.